people who are entering into green chemistry or green engineering. We want them to really be connecting with the real world environment. And sometimes you can be in the lab and that becomes your bubble. Your bubble has to expand to the broader world to make real change. So that's what really sparked the whole idea of the service project. Whose first time is it in Pittsburgh? Oh, wow. <laughs> When we do conferences, I knew that there was something a little bit missing in terms of how we engage with the communities that we enter into. I am currently the program manager at the Office of Sustainability in the Green Chemistry Institute. What I do is lead the Green Chemistry Engineering Conference. We're actually at the 29th annual one, so I'm excited. This is a great way to kick it off, get people thinking like, this is why we're here, right? We're here because of our communities, and we want to take that back and remember this energy when we get into our labs so that we can also do great work there. In Trinidad and Tobago, sustainability is kind of like on our back burner. My research group is the only green chemistry based research group there. So being involved with the GCI and all the ACS conferences and events, I was able to kind of broaden my horizon and I was also a bit inspired to continue down the path I was going down. Before it was a bit discouraging to be surrounded by people who sustainability isn't the first thing on their minds. So being around people who think like me has encouraged me to continue on that path and try to bring sustainability to Trinidad and to my university. In addition to the planting today, we were able to engage our residents in something meaningful in the community. Hopefully at the end of the day, the beautification work that we've done here, the ecological restoration work with the 160 native perennials that we've planted, hopefully this will be sustainable and will help to instill a sense of pride in the neighborhood. This community group was started by Dorothy Mae Richardson and she organized the residents to fight for finances to restore the neighborhood back in the 70s. As long as the good work that was started years ago continues, that's sustainability to me. I'm grateful to the organizers for putting this kind of thing together. I made collaborations with other scientists. I made new friends. For us as green chemists, we have a lot of power to really make a difference in the world. Our degrees are essentially degrees in problem solving. So I think that's where we shine. And we have the network and community to help support it. And we're all in it together.